Well, hello, all you beautiful peeps out there in the interwebs. This is Tashlan and Charlie the dog and Puddin and Empire the Pussycats. I wanted to see if they were all here, and they are. <laughs> um, and this is Creativeverse. And do excuse me if my voice sounds a bit funny. Um, I don't exactly have a cold, but I'm not exactly on tip-top form either, if that makes sense. I mean, I feel okay, just slightly as if something's not 100% tickety-boo. <laughs> this is very hard to explain. Um, <clears throat> but as you can hear, I have a little bit of a frog in my throat. Um, but otherwise, everything's fine and dandy. And um, yeah, I don't appear to be in my usual spot, do I? How odd. Not really. I am actually recording from the Creati Crew build squad world um, and uh, they've been doing this for quite a while and I did do a couple of live streams on this world um, it, they weren't very successful and that's because my internet um, speeds uh, download speeds are fine upload speeds are not and you need upload speeds for streaming so it was more like you know, people watching the slideshow than anything else it was really bad so I had to stop um, but um, I'm sure a lot of you know that I am part of the build squad um, and that's my, my flagpole at the top of my teleportation tower and a quick whiz <laughs> look there. we're gonna have a look around spawn today um, depending on time I might do another couple of areas uh, I'm still discussing with the squad what they want to show off first so um, just show off my little teleportation tower for those who didn't get to see it on any of the live streams and um, we, we, there was a top with my little wavy flag and this is the little bedroom for I don't know I sort of imagined a little princess up in her ivory tower somewhere here got a couple of pictures and it looks a little bit squiff but uh, you know it's fine and obviously just plain little bed that she's got there and some bookshelves and I've used these obsidian stairs and inner corners to create these little um, sort of window seats so you could grab a book from your bookcase and sit down here on your window seat got a nice little view well it's dark at the moment so not much of a view at all which is why I'm prevaricating a little bit staying inside here because we want to look at things in the daylight don't we um, and of course we've got these lovely medieval torches because spawn it didn't start out that way but it's kind of ended up having a little bit of a medieval theme now I'm just gonna have a sip of tea to try and <clears throat> clear this frog in my throat so just bear with me <coughs> ah, that's better <laughs> We've got to hydrate, haven't we? Right, so then we'll, we go down one level. Uh, and this is like the little dining area then. Um, and I've used, instead of actually having windows, I've got slabs and stairs in here. I was trying to do sort of different things to not, you know, have everything be you know, a bit samey. And I've even put up there, this is the noble dining room. And apparently nobles eat mushrooms and I've used placemats to um, make it look like that's a candle because um, you can hide that I mean you can see when I'm hovering over it that it's there but you can hide it and there's different sorts of arrangements that you can have which that's in itself is a great way of, of showcasing things so it's nice that we have that little feature um, and we go down here, and yeah, this is more the servants' quarters. Oops, no, let's, let's get off the ladder, Tashlan. Come on, girl, you can do it. There we are. Yay! <laughs> 
and this is where they're preparing all the food and again I've used placemats and to create this little countertop these are medieval stairs that I've just twi twizzled over um, and I think that looks quite good and I've got this little cooking range now I'm, um, I've actually used a trap door sort of open and that keeps liquids in and I thought that this this tar actually makes quite a nice surface so I've kind of put that in there so that's that's that can be like um like a griddle area I don't know if you've ever seen areas where you, you have you, you know you have a cooker but you also have a place where you can griddle nice nice where you can put your bacon and eggs and patties and that sort of thing so we have that there uh, it's not very practical because it wouldn't really work but um you know it's all how it looks and of course we've got all sorts of uh chests here where things would be stored and this would be where your servants would have their meals once they've they've fed the the upper tea nobles upstairs and again i've done something slightly different with the windows um actually put just stone windows in so i was, I was trying to keep it in theme but show that you can also use sort of very different things and this is then uh, the, almost the beginning of the tower, sort of the access to the upper towers there. And do excuse if there's a couple of lag spikes. I have tried to um, close as many things down and turn off steam overlay and all that sort of thing. But, you know, when you've got a highly populated, well-built-up area, you do still get some lag spikes. And I've used um, the holographic uh, hollow chambers to create these little waving flags that is a great thing you can you can animate stuff i love it and i've, I've seen lots of way places where this has been used um and I've, I've used the sort of creative crew colors as best as i can you know the sort of white and blue and i've used these so you can have a little view um from from the parapets here um we'll close these doors i do love these medieval doors they're brilliant and we go down, and this is where the teleportation hub starts. I built this so I'd ha they'd have quite a lot of room for expansion. Um, uh, I haven't even finished putting all of the, the signs on here. Um, but there is a lot of room to put teleporters in. And yeah, kind of given everybody sort of their own sort of I'm going I'm saying sort of an awful lot time times because I'm grappling for what I want to say just calm down Tash use your words I've, I've tried to in a way future proof it because I know that we, we plan to do an awful lot of building on this world and I didn't want us to run out of room um, essentially I mean even so if it came to that we could just have one teleporter that would go to another central teleporter it's not the end of the world but i did try and think towards the future and you can see here um they've already they've got some scouted locations i can't speak scouted they are they've been scouted oh honestly i think i'm all hyper today that's a problem uh, and then look, we've got a steampunk city, a haunted hotel, a medieval coastal city, uh, a lost city. Well, no, we found it. Here we are. I found it. <laughs> oh dear, fantasy island. Well, that sounds good, doesn't it? Underground city, floating islands, a modern city. Oh, these guys are so exciting. They really are. And there is this just. I am busy building something here and it's taking me a very long time at the moment it's just it's a hole <laughs> it's a covered up hole that's the best I can say uh, we've got a desert village here we've got a dwarf hole uh, I'll get the hole first <laughs> there's an adventure here and yes I do intend to create an adventure in what I'm just calling my cave at the moment um, but it is a large scale thing that I'm building and it's taking me a long time to do and I'm burning through lumite cells like you won't believe at the moment so it's like oh another lumite cell it's, it, it's annoying kind of twang it makes when you do it like oh I'm gonna build another one <laughs> that's why I've got it up here sort of as a reminder that all the things that I need to make a new one 
uh, but it'll be worth it in the end and I'm rattling on and we've got here these are all sort of the biome teleporters so, so if there's anything that you need from a particular biome you come in here and off you shoot and you just mine your little heart out it's great and I think the sun is coming up now um, so that's good and um, these I think these are more some more these were oh yes well here I've got the layer teleporters and so this is where the te layer teleporters were no, that's where they actually still are <laughs> so uh, that's if you want to go down to the layers and, and collect layer specific um, items and I think these are just to add as you will and this does just open out because I have tried to make it an interesting shape so this opens out into a little balcony and oh, I see some floaty stuff over there oh it's getting interesting <laughs> and I don't like to leave doors open I think I've clicked that twice now uh, it didn't open again come on come on come on there we go nice so then we go down to I think this is the ground floor oh sorry if it's a bit wibbly wobbly um there, there is a little bit of a a lag issue uh well this is this is i did this little sign um using and it's arc signs down here um and it just sort of tells you um where everything is to sort of help and yes yeah, travel central um I, I kind of had a lot of fun with the decorations down here um i took my time with it and yeah i'm sure there's lots of people that could say oh well you could change it and do this and make it better there and all this kind of thing yeah i could but i like what i did i'm co i'm content <laughs> and oh this now this has changed this is all something new Ooh, i quite like this this is the actual spawn point the very first thing that i built um and did a lot of experimentation with uh, doing different lights around here and that sort of thing and I did actually finally figure out how to program the arc sign so that whoever looks at the welcome sign their name will pop up I knew there was a way but you, you know when you you can't quite remember how to do it, it was quite frustrating but I did manage to do it in the end um, so it looks like we've got we've created this little hub here this spawn point with four different paths looks like this path has been blocked off you shall not pass okay i shall not <laughs> and then we'll go along here now a lot of this i'll be honest with you i haven't seen this is all new to me this is all completely new to me um I, we did i did create a notice board sort of down by the creative crew sign but it looks like it's been moved um so it's quite nice and this is where you know people say what they're doing and people don't get confused i still get confused but i would think i was just born confused <laughs> oh this is nice i have no idea how they've done this map but this is well i mean i know how they built that but the actual map itself oh i like that oh well done guys hey i'm gonna give you a round of applause <laughs> that's excellent that is really good uh, i'm guessing there's an arc sign down there but wow yeah yeah nice job yeah, this is a real nice sort of um central square or mezzanine kind of feel you can just imagine a hard day at work somewhere in spawn you come here and you, you bring your pack up and you and you sit down some oh hold on my mouse has moved down there we go you sit down here on the grass and have your sandwich sunday the bit I like it. I like it a lot. Um, looks like we have some works in progress there. I'm going to try not to, you know, sort of go to something that isn't finished um, because that's not fair on the builders, really. If I, if I do accidentally see something that isn't finished, it's not intentional. I'm just having a good old nosy round, really. And oh, I like this. <laughs> This, oh, this is a lot grander than it was when I first saw it. It was just a couple of stairs blumping you down here to the Creative Crew logo that was by Ink. I think it's lovely. Um, and 
I like this water cascading down. That's a lovely, lovely feature. Oh, I do like that. Oh, well done, guys. All oh, right. So what's this? Oh, look, you see it in the little outdoor sort of dining area. This is, all, this is all new from when I was here last. And this is nice. Actually using slabs to sort of bring that down. I like that. Let's go up in here and see what... Whoa, wow. Mind your eyes, guys, because... Okay. The asphalt. And there's a switch. Do I flick the switch? Do I flick this switch? Come on, let's flick the switch. And... Okay. That was a little bit of an anticlimax, I have to say. Oh, no, I see. Look. <laughs> it's all becoming clear. It was just lag. Okay. So this is the... Um, tar spawner I'll use my words okay well that was just a lag spike thing so that's cool oh that door opened for me nice oh, and I see they're using the columns columns now that's actually quite nice how they've put that on a placemat I like that design oh that is very good and I think, if I remember correctly, this was the liquid spawner. Yes, this is beautiful. This this almost has a feel of um, sort of a very Victorian sort of conservatory um, where they used to have like tropical plants and things like that. Oops, I spiked up there. <laughs> it's a little bit of a scary stairway. Go up the scary stairs. It's got all the liquids here that you could possibly desire. Including ice. Well, I'm not sure that was intended. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yes. We are getting a lot of lag here. So, can we go down the chain? Is that quicker? Whee! <laughs> Just a little. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's possibly the liquid that's, that's causing that. So, let's take... Let's remove ourselves from there. Yes, I do think that there is still some work to be done as far as optimization of creative verses to be done, to be honest. Um, I'm just checking the time. Don't want to rattle on for too long. This is a nice outdoor seating area. I, lo I love actually how they've got the vines and the leaves here. It makes this little area look quite lush. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I, I am struggling. I'm trying to go slowly um, because otherwise it is, it, it's on my side at least, it's very juddery. Um, and I don't want it to be painful on your eyes as well. Well, this I think is an inn. Um, looks like there's hey this is where we have our little dance you get get your violinist come out here and we have have a bit of a knees up oh, yeah. <laughs> that'd be all right wouldn't it nice fire pit here nice nice use of the corner squares corner stairs not squares <laughs> they're not square at all well they they, they are technically <laughs> and these chains i like that and um, what have we got back here this looks like a little bar Oh, I like this. Barkeep. I'll have a pint, please. Thank you. A pint of your best. None of that watered down stuff you usually give me. Nah, I won't have none of that. Using these as drop down counters, that is that is so cool. And this will be the kitchen. We're sneaking into the kitchen. Oh, I like how this is all smoky. They're using the uh, the fire pits to make it all smoky. Oh, I like that. Ah, nice. And I, I take it that this goes into the back porch. Yes. Um, let's go back through and make sure that we close up everything after ourselves. We have to be nice and tidy guests, don't we? Yep, indeed. <laughs> and up here. 
All right, room one. Fair enough. Well, it's a bit sparsy. Um, if we're going to spend the night here, I wouldn't mind a bed. You know, it's just just my preference, I think. Uh, ah, and yeah, he might he might want to finish this balcony. <laughs> Oh, some more stuff going on around there. It's all go in this place, I tell you. Stand still too long and you find yourself built into a building. Ah, oh, this one's got a bed. I'll have a room too. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is all very nice. Lovely. All right, so let's, let's close up that door. And I'm guessing room three will be something similar. And we've got all these, so much seating. At least, you know, if you, if you do end up with a room without a bed, you've got some seating. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Uh. <laughs> It'll just jump down there. Yeah, uh, we'll be fine. Right. Um, just checking on me time there. Um, let's, oops, press all the wrong buttons because we can. Let's have a look what's going on down here. Well, okay. I didn't actually intend to jump off that wall. I like this wall actually. Where they've used the, is it just a stone roof? Yeah, it kind of works with the stacked stone wall. It looks like we've got a path that's going along here. So there's obviously more planned over there. Um, oh. Have a quick sip of tea. Ah, lovely. Um, and what is down here? I, th I think I remember, but you guys may not know. Oh, here we go. Yes. Uh, I suppose that's, is that some sort of sepulchre. And oh, these bones. That. This is just one facing the other way. That's like, okay. <laughs> That's quite good. It's like, cause it kind of draws your eye, doesn't it? Like, mm, something's not right there. Like, I know it's going to sound weird, but having that one just the wrong way kind of makes it a bit bit more eerie. I don't know. Ugh. And then when, when a mirror just arrives in front of your face, that's... <laughs> oh, oh, golly, another one. Hello. Right. Um, oh, and we go further down into the, the catacombs. Mm. Maze caverns. Okay. I'm not going to go into the maze cavern because I'm not very good at getting out of mazes and we'll be in there forever. But mm, nice to visit when we're bored. Have a wander around. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay, there, there it's definitely a lot of problems still with lag, which is unfortunate. Let's go over the chain into this. This is a graveyard. Hey, wait, is that actually a keeper? <laughs> Come here, keeper. I'm in the water. Smack, smack, smack. There we go. Can't pass. Oh, hello. Mossy cobblestone. That's nice. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, there we are. Some things written on these. I don't want to miss any, so let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> your creativity. I yeah, <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> Oh dear. Here lies my creativity. Rip. <laughs> oh. oh yes, I should fill in one. I don't know what I put. See, I told you I was sick. <laughs> I don't know. Arcadia Cavern. Mm, interesting. There's a whole sort of... Oh, it's like a whole little family thing going on here. 
Interesting. That is interesting. I like that. That attention to detail. Oh, sorry, I'm stood on the whites. Sorry, whites. Oop. Huh. Four and five, one three, one one nine died from fall damage. Oh, rip. <laughs> I need to put one here where I died of corruption. Because <laughs> I'm working in the corruption lair. <laughs> Lord Pigsy. I love it. Ah, <laughs> oh, these little touches. You have to really take your time to look at this because there's, there's all these subtle touches. What's oh, over here? Palmquist. Okay. Yeah. All these subtle little touches. And then this is the church. This has been here a while. Um, what? <laughs> what is that noise? Goodness gracious me. Holy Church of Pigsy the Great. Well, of course. Oh, it's so nice when you walk through here. Right, so let's walk through on the carpet. Oh, and look. There is Holy Sir Bacon. Hello. 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 We're not worthy. We're going to wander around your altar, though. Do you want some food? I don't think I've got any food. What do you like? Chizzard pot pie. Sorry, I don't have any chizzard pot pie. My bad. I'll remember next time. I won't. I'll forget. But don't tell him. I love these pews. Oh, look at that ceiling. Oh, that is lovely. It's kind of carried on through there. And then they've used tourmaline windows. Wow. This is nice. And I think, that, yeah, I remember there's an up bit. Oh, sorry, guys. The lag is real. What is that noise? Work, work, work. Keep going. Oh, this is so difficult. I'm hoping that it's recording a little bit better than it looks to me because it's looking pretty lame to me. Oh, this is nice. This will this will be where all all the the posh people will sit and listen to the service. It's got a nice view from up here. I like this. This little balcony. What's around here? Is it just? Oh no, there is more up. There's more down as well. <laughs> Let's go up. Up, 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 and away. To um, and up. <laughs> We're in the tower. It would sort of be nice if there was a kind of external viewpoint from here I like what they've done but I'm, I'm kind of but that's just me I just want to be able to peek out there and see what's over there it's because I'm I'm a curious little Nelly aren't I let's face it <laughs> gotta stick my big porky nose into everything that's fine <laughs> Right, uh, we didn't come up this way, did we? Well, we've gone down the wrong side. Oh well, we'll close both doors. Pretend we didn't do anything. Go over here. Come on, close, that's it. Okay, oh, better close these doors as well. I'm trying to be a good guest. This wall around here is new as well. Hmm. I wonder what's behind it. <laughs> Let me in. I want to see what's behind this wall. Um. And this goes to the builder's village. Okay. Oh. 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 Right. 
So let us go. Let's see what the builders have builded. Built. Builded. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So this is the house of Sir Papa. Sorry about that. I'm uh, I'm being stared at by a big black dog who's wagging his tail. I don't know why. <laughs> it's very distracting. Okay, let's do... Um, I'm a bit worried about time. Um, I think what I'm going to do, uh, because, because time, we will stop here at this builder's village. We will come and look at the builder's village as a second look. Um, because I've been recording for about half an hour and I don't want these to be too long uh, because of all the editing and uploading. So um, I will do this and then I will come back and do the, the tour of the builder's village and continue going around spawn. There's an awful lot for us to see and it's all very exciting and I'm looking forward to showing some more of this off to you. So I know this is a deviation from my usual um, there you go. Have a look at Tashlan. Very rarely see Tashlan <laughs> in all her glory. There we go. Um, it's it's very rare that it's quite nice looking at you when I'm talking to you. Now you're paying attention um, to to show off this. And it's as like I say, I'm rambling, aren't I? It's a deviation from my usual uh, thing, but. Um, I wanted to show this off and um, I thought this would be an ideal opportunity because I haven't got an awful lot of time. So it's easier, much easier for me to go wander around somebody else's build than having to be original and build something myself. So thank you for, for sh spending this time with me and um, those that do, happy holidays. Those that don't, happy holidays anyway. Um, from Tashlan, Charlie the Dog, Puddin' and Pie the Pussycats. You know, we love you loads. Peace out, peeps.